Dandelions. Do we hate them or do we love them? I feel like a lot of the times we're popping their heads off, so that would mean we don't like them, right? Well, I'm gonna throw some appreciation to dandelions today by eating them in various ways. It's dandelion season. I'm sitting outside, I'm sitting near a field of them. Check out, if I get hungry, I can just go grab those. Isn't that convenient? In this video, I learn how to make deep fried dandelions and dandelion jelly. At the end of this video, I also do a little resin project involving some pressed dandelions, which is always fun to put my own little twist on things. I did a bunch of research about foraging dandelions before I tried this, and another way is making tea out of the root, which I did not try. And then I also saw a video on making dandelion wine, but that takes several weeks, so I don't think I'm gonna try that one this year. But in this video, I get to appreciate these bright yellow, stunning flowers such an awesome color just to see in nature, especially after a long winter. First thing I get to do is go out into a patch of grass and look for some big dandelions. This was early dandelion season and I've noticed now that they have even bigger ones. Like it's easy to find really big dandelions. These are the ones that I got and I wash each one individually, make sure there's no bugs on them, and then I kind of tear off some of the bottom green leaves because I hear that they're more bitter, but I leave some of them on because how much could it hurt? Next important step is to make the batter. So I crack an egg, mix that with milk and flour and a pinch of salt. and then dip each dandelion individually and put it in the oil to fry up. I also make sure to cover the dandelions in flour so that the batter sticks to them better. After a few minutes and they start to look golden brown, I flip them to get the other side of the dandelion. Ta-da! Here are the final results. So it's pretty interesting. They kind of just look like chicken nuggets, but you can definitely tell that there are dandelions in there. So cute! They actually smell really good. Like the batter smells so good. And they're kind of soft right here and then crunchier on the bottom. These just look like chicken nuggets, so good. And then I garnished it with a little bit of salad. So this will be my lunch today. Deep fried flowers. I should eat this for every meal. That's actually really good. It tastes like something I've had before. 
It kind of tastes like a tempura vegetable, but I can't say which one. One of the good ones, this is actually really good. Benefit of using a dandelion is that there's so much surface area with all those petals. So if you put batter on it, it'll just be a delicious piece of batter. Okay, I'm a big fan. This is actually delicious. Mm. I'm gonna finish this. So I just got back from collecting some dandelions. Uh, yeah, I just plopped the heads off. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to wash them more individually. They're already soaking wet because it's been raining all day. But I thought that cooking and playing with dandelions was a fun thing to spend today doing inside. So I have all of my supplies to make some jelly. So with these dandelion petals, I'm going to snip them away from the bitter green stems under it because I hear that they're not tasty and turn it into some bright yellow jelly. Let's get started. I just poured in a bunch of boiling water so it's still really hot but I find this so captivating to look at so yellow and full of dandelions so I'm gonna have to wait for this to steep for 24 hours before we can move on to the next step but I'm okay with this because this is beautiful decor okay I'll taste test this before I use it Hmm, tastes very floral, that's about it. A little bit sweet, I guess, but we're definitely gonna make it sweeter. I got tons of sugar, and I'm also adding a little bit of lemon. So let's boil this together and let it sit and jelly up so we can use it. I'm hungry.
so I've waited for these to cool and they are very liquidy still. I definitely didn't put enough pectin in or I had too much water. This is the risk when I never measure anything. I'm going to put it back on the stove. I did taste it and it's actually like really sweet and actually the perfect flavor and tastes really good. So I'm not gonna add any sugar. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar <laughs> for and pectin just to even it out. I'm gonna put this back in the pot and then cook it for a little bit longer. Last thing that I wanted to do in this video about dandelions was to preserve some in resin. So I wanted to try this little bit of a different technique where I press the flowers with some leaves and I create a flat shaped mold with just some hot glue that I can fill with resin, really compose my own shape. I thought this was a really cool way to make my own mold because it can be so custom and different every time I do it. Also, it really defines the edges, and I love defined edges. I love when complex shapes just form a simple shape. I don't really know how to explain it, but this was just a really cool method for me, and I definitely want to use it in a few more projects. So this was a really fun experiment with just these two small dandelion charms. I don't remember the fact exactly, but the name dandelion has something to do with the sharp tooth leaves that it has. It reminded people of a lion's tooth. So I peel this big slab of resin off of the tape that we put down. And this is the part that will require more work than usual. Since we didn't use a regular mold, we have to sand down a bunch because as per usual, I wasn't very tidy while pouring these. I get out my Dremel and follow the edges that we've already made. And I use my pliers to rip off big chunks of resin. This was kind of a dangerous way to do things though because I did end up cracking off a little tip of the leaf from just going too quickly. It's a delicate process. So either smaller clips with the pliers or use the Dremel the entire way. get out my drill to make some holes and do the final jewelry making touch-ups to turn these into just hanging charms. One I wanted to use as a label for the mason jar which I thought was really cute and the other one I just string up in my van.
morning, everybody. So I just made some oatmeal. I love a nice warm bowl of oatmeal. Just warms up my hands. It warms up my van when I get that water boiling. I wanted to try the dandelion jelly today. Let it sit overnight so it's like kind of cold. And it's not as thick as I was hoping for. You know how honey is a little bit thicker? The video that I watched to learn how to do it, they just preserved it in jars right away. They didn't taste it or even like show the consistency. So I'm just gonna try to put some in my oatmeal today to sweeten it up. It smells like dandelions. It's definitely sweet. I would say it's more sour than regular honey. Probably from the lemon juice that we added. It's definitely like an intense flavor. I added a lot to this only because I don't have anything good to put in this oatmeal. So I was like, extra honey it is. Definitely making my taste buds go crazy. Out of the two recipes that I tried in this video, I would say that I like the deep fried dandelions better than the honey, but definitely a learning experience. And I would love to try it again because I think I also made the mistake of steeping the dandelions for way too long. I did maybe like 10 hours longer than it suggested. And when I woke up the next morning, I was like, wow, these dandelions are like brown. They're like much darker. Like it made, it infused with the water so intensely that it wasn't even yellow anymore. Which is probably why this doesn't have a transparent look. It's supposed to be like clear and see-through, which is the defining part of a jelly. They're usually transparent and jams are usually thicker and have more stuff in it. I'm gonna try it like on its own. Mmm. I remember when I was a kid and my dad used to pay me like a penny to pull out a dandelion. So he would tell me to go in the yard and pull as many dandelions as I could. And then he would pay me at the end of the day. I would get like 150, like so much work. And he was like, I only accept it if the entire root's out. You can't just pick a dandelion. I was like, okay. So much labor for maybe $2, probably not $2. <laughs> but anyways. Dandelions are awesome. Also, my best friend Holly has a dandelion tattoo of like uh, an aging dandelion. Dandelion going through all of its changes, which is really nice and meaningful as well. I would love to preserve a dandelion in resin that just has all those like seeds, those fluffy white seeds. That's an entire different aspect of dandelions that we didn't even cover today. Oh my gosh, we have to have a dandelion video part two. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you have a good one. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye.